welcome and welcome back to my channel guys it's your girl joe if this is your first time seeing my face make sure to hit that subscribe button before we get started turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on that upload give this video a big thumbs up it helps more people see it also comment down below today's video is going to be more of a sit down chill vibes type of video i'm going to be talking about how i manifested my dream car and my dream apartment so excited to make this video i've been wanting to make it for a while now so if you guys are ready let's get into it i took notes because i didn't want to leave out anything i have my journals that i use i have books that i use i have pictures to show you guys i'm ready let's just get started so i'm going to start on why i started manifesting or how i started manifesting Get back a few years i was assistant manager at a store and i was working with a friend from high school which now she's my best friend so but i was working with her and she brought up the secret and then at the same time i was also working at part-time at a gym and this guy i worked with gave me the book so this is the book the secret so this is the first book and i now looking back it was like i guess a sign for me to kind of get started because at the same time in two different environments two people brought up like she was she was currently reading it and doing it herself and then this guy I was working with gave me the book to read and then he told me to keep the book so i feel like it was like kind of like it was like meant to be kind of for me to like get started and if you don't know where to start i this was a really good book so so just a brief of the secret when i first read this book i wrote a sticky note i don't know what year is this it was i don't know it was a while ago okay so the sticky note so there's three things ask believe and receive um so you ask for what you want get clear about what you want then ask so this is just a breakdown of this book and then ask and then believe what you want is yours the moment you ask for it and then to receive it feel the way you will feel once it arrives fill it now like fill it in the current moment so i'm going to break all that down so i started manifesting because i knew i wanted certain things out of life but like you know my situation back then it, i guess it felt like unattainable to me in a sense so i started manifesting and i'm so glad i started doing that because it's insane the things that you can manifest for yourself you can literally manifest anything you want and at the end of this video in this book right here I wrote down a list of a few, I guess more than a few things that I've manifested. I wrote this list two months ago just as a reminder that anything I want is literally obtainable to me and I can achieve it, I can receive it as long as I truly want it and I believe. So I'll read that list at the end of the video. I will say when I first started and sometimes now depending on what I'm trying to manifest, I have this feeling of feeling like unworthy of the things that i'm trying to manifest for myself i know it stems back from a lot of my childhood trauma a lot of not ever having enough struggling not knowing what you can have never having new things always having hand-me-downs so i know i know i carry that over and today also me and jazz talks about this on our podcast mind if we went the podcast i'll link it down below so you guys can go check out our youtube channel or check us out on any podcast streaming platforms but we talked about that we break it down more in detail but yeah so the unworthiness stems from my childhood and i've been working on it because i deserve i have to keep reminding myself that i deserve anything that i want i deserve to have nice things i deserve to treat myself i deserve to spoil myself like i'm worthy of it all so that's something i struggle with a little here and there so the key is to stay positive when you're trying to manifest things positivity is like your best friend i know it's hard when you don't see the results you want to see right away but and i had to teach myself this also that when you're trying to manifest something big big huge things do not happen overnight so they're going to take time to happen and i literally once that whenever i get into like my little me feeling any type of way that what I want isn't currently here. I'm like, girl, you want you want something so huge that it's gonna have to take time to get to you. You gotta stay patient and keep going, keep doing what you're doing, keep working towards what you're trying to manifest, and it's gonna appear. It's kind of like you have to rewire your brain from your old beliefs into like new beliefs. So like, 
if you like for example like if you if your belief is that you never have enough money if just say that's your belief a new affirmation and a positive belief is that money comes to me easily and freely so you just have to take your old beliefs that you have about anything and then rewire them and make them into something positive so that you can start to rewire your brain to not think so negative and to so you can start actually seeing and manifesting the things that you want i'm going to start with how i manifested my 2018 jeep wrangler i got it it's 2021 now but i got it in the year 2018 so it was like a brand new car when i drove it off the lot it only had 12 miles on it after me test driving it so it was a brand new no one owned this car 2018 in 2018 like i was so in awe and so grateful that i was able to do that for myself when i was trying to manifest my car i came across this book think and grow rich and in this book i literally have a sticky note for my car so, so this book is kind of what helped me manifest my car so i'm gonna read what my sticky note said so when you're trying to manifest things you have to be down to the detail as possible how it looks how it like depending on what you are manifesting how it looks how it smells how you feel when you receive it you have to feel it now like before you even receive it you have to feel it like it's already yours see yourself already driving a car see yourself already living in the house see yourself already being a chef whatever you're trying to manifest you have to see yourself in the present moment already dear feel yourself already there and be as detailed as possible so you don't leave like any space for confusion or any space for like the unknown so this was like a quick little sticky note that i did i think after reading like a certain chapter in this book so i just said i got my 2018 jeep new wrangler unlimited sport 4x4 june 9th 2018 at um i put the place that i got it i put the place i put the address of the place and i put how much i got it for like i put the certain price i wanted everything is included the tags registration all that and i described the car so i said it was a hard top black on the inside and on the outside had a rear view camera a push to start and like a touch screen radio and also when i was trying to manifest my jeep i made like a vision board so this was 2018 so from 2018 till now my vision boys have grown tremendously i put in so much more detail in it now but when I was trying to manifest this car, I literally wrote down on a piece of paper and stuck it onto the wall. I'll insert the what I'm talking about. You literally see the pen and everything. So it just says Jeep Wrangler Sport 4x4 Black Hardtop Brand New June 9th, 2018. I literally put it on a sticky note and put it on my vision board. I put the date because I was looking around for a while, but I knew this, this exact dealership had the car I wanted at around the price that i wanted and i was like okay i'm gonna go this weekend i'm gonna go test drive it and i'm gonna get my car like for a few weeks i kept telling myself like my i'm the jeep is mine it's mine i'm gonna go in there i was envisioning myself going into the dealership test driving it i was envisioning myself test driving it i was envisioning myself signing the paperwork like i was doing all that and it's so crazy to think that it literally came like i manifested that and also at the time, I had a Honda Accord, a little Honda Accord, and I did not care what anybody think. People that got my car, I do, I did not care. I literally printed out a Jeep logo and I stuck it onto the wheel of my Honda because I'm more of a visual person. That's why I love vision boards because you can see them. I stuck a Jeep logo, like the word Jeep, onto my Honda. So every time I got in my car, I can physically see that it said Jeep. And that just helped me so much too. And when it was time for me to go in the dealership, I went in the dealership. I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew how much I wanted it for. I knew what I wasn't going to settle for. Because before this, before I got my Jeep, I went to other dealerships. And they were trying to sell me other things that I weren't interested in. Or, and giving me something lesser than I wanted. Or they were trying to make me, like say I was trying to finance. They were trying to make me lease. Or if I wanted to lease it, they, they were just trying to sway me in so many different directions that's why when you're manifesting you have to know exactly what you want so that you don't get persuaded and you know like this is for me like this is what i want so when i went in i literally went in june 9th and i walked out with my brand new car that is so crazy to think i'm literally i'm just in awe and i'm grateful and also when i was trying to manifest 
um jazz made me a picture it was a jeep she put my face it was a jeep with somebody on the car she put my face on top of the car i'm going to insert it so you guys can see so i would look at that as well like see me on the jeep and that's what i do too for my vision boards like i don't just take pictures off the internet i literally like make the picture i get a picture off the internet if it's not exactly what i want i adjust it to fit what i'm looking for like if i see myself and at a certain place like i literally would put myself in that place and print out the picture like it's just things like that you just do the detail about what you want and if you can see it that's even better like if you could physically see it then you'll be able to start seeing it in your mind as well so that you're able to manifest exactly what you want that was how i manifested my jeep my jeep every time i get in my jeep till this day i'm just so in awe and so grateful that it's actually mine like i literally feel the gratitude when i think about my car because i'm just so blessed to have been able to manifest that for myself so next thing we're going to go into how i manifested my dream apartment so i still have every time i make a vision board i just take a picture of it so i still have i have my 2019 vision board 2020 and 2021 so i'm going to insert every vision board i made on the screen so that you guys can see like the progression of my vision board but 2018 i had a picture of a high rise with florist little windows and 2020 i had a picture of a high rise with florida still windows and in 2021 i had a picture of a high rise with florida still windows so i knew that that's the kind of apartment i want so i knew the kind of apartment i want and it was on my vision board for three years and it was on there for so long because that's the apartment i wanted but i was not doing any steps towards getting it so when you're manifesting, you have to put action behind what you're trying to manifest. You can't just be like, oh, I want this and expect it to happen because that's kind of not how it works. So that's why it was on my vision board for two years before I got it this year because this year I was actually putting in work, putting in the thought, putting in searching for apartments, looking around, knowing exactly what I wanted, what I didn't want. And this year I was able to manifest my dream apartment because I was serious about it. So I started off by knowing what I wanted. What I wanted out of an apartment, I made a list like this. I have just a few pages of detailed or how I wanted my apartment. I went to so much detail about this apartment, how the windows I wanted to look, that what kind of apartment I wanted, what I wanted like a corner apartment to have like the window or I wanted an apartment in the middle of the building whether I wanted like hard floors or if I wanted carpet, if I wanted uh, an open layout or if I wanted a closed layout, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, literally to the T. I wrote down exactly what I wanted. Me and Jazz first originally started looking for apartments. The apartments that we was finding, we was finding apartments and we were writing them down. Just every apartment we was looking at was missing one or two things from the list. And I know I didn't want to settle because I know like this is what I wanted. So we was looking for a few months and then we randomly went back on online. I think we was just on apartments.com. We randomly went back online and we was on apartments.com and we also just went on Google and typed in like apartments in Miami because we know we wanted to be in Miami. So we just did that and then randomly a apartment popped up that was not there before. We looked at the apartment online, we went through all the pictures and it was literally the perfect apartment and it was just so crazy because when we was looking maybe like a few weeks ago this apartment was not anywhere to be found and then it just randomly popped up literally had everything that we wanted everything i wanted out of an apartment i literally manifest a few videos back in august i did an apartment tour so if you guys want to see like everything i just said if you want to physically see it you could go back and look at my apartment tour because literally everything i described we got into the apartment to the t we got the floors the floors are not carpet i did not want carpet we were just everything about this apartment is literally what i wanted so when we were manifesting this apartment once we found the apartment that we wanted like we knew this apartment was ours like this one this floor this apartment number i literally wrote it down to the t the where i wanted the apartment the apartment name the apartment number and we submitted an application and then within like i think a few days to a week we got approved for the apartment april 15th i wrote a letter of like the approval of the apartment because you know 
just because you submit for a permit that doesn't mean you'll get approved so i'm going to read you guys exactly where from where what the letter said for us to manifest this apartment and then literally within like a few days to a week we got an approval email i literally started crying because i cannot believe that i manifested this like and i'm just every day i'm here i'm just in awe and so grateful and just seeing like my apartment and my car is just huge reminders that i literally could achieve anything i want just being in this apartment is letting me know like i'm i'm here i'm on the right path anything is mine it's just right right there i just gotta keep going keep going so the letter says if harm to none and for good of all a new two bedroom two bathroom in florida high rise corner apartment with huge runs with huge windows hard floors open kitchen with an island good neighborhood parking garage amazing view natural lighting i'm literally filming this sitting in front of my window with no lights natural lighting approval email is on its way to me this apartment belongs to me and jazz and we get to use it how we choose i thank the universe in advance and focus on the blessings that i and focus on the blessings that my current home is and the abundance of living space that is on its way I would be surprised at the speed and ease this approval manifests into my life and so it is. And when I was trying to manifest this dream apartment that we currently have, I was I was seeing myself in the actual apartment. I was seeing myself stretching. I was seeing the sun hitting me while I'm stretching. I was envisioning myself like what I would be doing in the apartment, how I would feel in the apartment. And it is so much easier to believe in my what I was manifesting because I can literally feel myself there. So like in my old apartment, I was literally right before I would go to sleep, I would literally look at my vision board which had my dream apartment and I would literally just close my eyes and just feel myself there in the moment. I didn't feel myself laying in the current bed I was in. I felt myself laying in my new bed, in my new place, in my new apartment, how that, how that would feel. And it honestly felt great. It felt amazing. And just a feeling, you just have to have a feeling of gratitude as well. Gratitude for what you currently have. You can't be ungrateful for what you currently have. Like, in my old apartment, I was blessed. I was still saying, like, I was grateful to have a roof over my head. Grateful to have my own room. Grateful to be alive. Grateful to be able to feed myself. Like, I was still showing so much gratitude for where I currently was. Because I didn't... You just have to have gratitude for where you are and for where you're going. I'm still trying to manifest different things. So, I have day... I roll out like a day in my life as the richest, happiest, most successful version of myself. Literally from morning to night in detail. How I brush my teeth, what toothpaste, um, what toothpaste I use, what body wash I use, the shower that I'm in, the clothes that I'm wearing for the day, my activities for the day, what I'm eating, am I working out, me creating content, like going out to eat, just so many things and then ending my night from morning to night a detailed list i think when i wrote this list it took me about 20 minutes because i wanted to make sure that i didn't leave anything out so the list of my day in my life i read this to myself every day i also voice journaled it so that i listen to it every night before i go to sleep so i read it in the morning and i listen to to it before i go to sleep and i got this idea from i believe this too think and grow rich and you are a badass at making money i think that was the one that gave you the idea to like just write everything out in detail but i want to end this video by reading off some of the things that i manifest for myself some of them are so small some of them are big but i just wanted to show you guys that everything you're trying to manifest it doesn't have to be like huge but the bigger it is the longer that it will take to manifest so patience is key so for example i manifest i want to before I started my YouTube career, I was filming off of my 7, iPhone 7 Plus. That's why I was filming off. I didn't really like it because it was fine for starting off. But I didn't like that I couldn't see myself or that it was just taking up so much space. So on my video board, I put that I wanted a camera. And after I think a year or so, I ended up invested in a camera for myself. I invested in... Um, a laptop for myself so i'm able to edit my youtube videos I manifested my car like i said i manifested like cutting out meat like little things like that you don't realize that you know it's something that you want and then you get it so you feel like you know i manifested exploring like new places within the last year i think me and jazz went to like three different plate three different states you know because you can't really travel because everything going on 
manifested this apartment, manifest having my own business and I started my own small business. I manifest paying off of my credit cards, manifested paying down my car loan, I manifested starting my healing journey, I manifested being more kind to myself and speaking kind words to myself. So just different things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this sit down video and I hope that it inspires you guys to start going after your dreams, whether big or small, going after what you really want, manifest and believe in that it's already yours. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment below something, whether it was big or small, something that you've dreamt of having and you actually was able to manifest for yourself. Comment that down below. I would love to read those from you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video.